I, I had tickets to go down to the Titanic, but I think I'm going to cancel. Don't. Too soon? Too soon! Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reaction Corner. <laughs> Rick, you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks for page for a Twitter account. Score like button. That's just nothing that's ever intrigued me. Going you? Down. I mean, going under the ocean is intriguing, but not that deep and with that shoddy of a <laughs> submarine. Yeah, I just, I just scuba diving intrigues me. Yeah, I but, scuba diving. Uh, I, I, submarines don't intrigue me. I've deep, been on a deep, submarine. Deep submersibles. Military. Don't. I've been on a military. You submarine. have? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, perks of my dad being in the military for as long as he was. Uh, today we got a Zoya Oktar interview. Oh, good. Uh, it's a new one that just came out. Great. Uh, with uh, uh, Anushka Anup- yeah. Anup- 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 Chopra, Chopra from uh, Film Companion. Great. I'm sure this she'll talk about the Archies. Archies. Great. Uh, which looks like a lot of fun. Did uh, you show the trailer to your wife? she like it? Yeah. Great. Uh, and she's like, it, it makes sense because the Archies are actually a band. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I, it, it's, I, it's so funny because a lot of... Is this of, the same as Archie? It's actually in the same universe as Josie and the Pussycats, by the way. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, so what about the Archie singular comic book? I think it's in the same... It's the same thing? I, it's the same universe. Because there's an Archie person, like there's a... Yeah, Archie's. Well, that's plural. Yeah, but no, it's the same, 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 same to same. But anyways, this is interesting because uh, I saw well, a lot of when, people. One, one's a person, the other's a band. How can they be the same? Archie is in the band. The band. Yes. And it, are they? Is the band all comprised of people named Archie? No idea. Okay. Uh, but anyways, I saw a lot of people confused um, by this trailer because it's a very American story. Yeah. Uh, it's an American in, comic book. Comic book, and they made it in India. Uh, but then, like, in, in the trailer or the teaser, there was, like, you know, burgers and shakes. And so a lot of people were like, oh, Indians won't ever be able to relate to this. I'm like, have you never seen a Western film that you've related to? You, you, we, we aren't Indian. We relate to films all the time. You can, you can relate to it if, like Zoya, you broaden your horizons. Yeah, I just, I don't understand that concept. It's like, oh, this is not fully Indian. You, Indians can't relate to this. You, you watch Marvel. Yeah. You literally watch Top Gun. Know more about American cinema than many Americans. So like, so I what don't... is it about it you wouldn't <laughs> relate to? Like, If it's a relatable story, you're going to yeah. relate to it. It doesn't have to be fully your story. Yeah. It's strange to me, right? Very strange to me, yeah. I could just, whatever. Anyways, but it should be good because it's Zoya. Um, and... You know, especially even as far back as how much, you know, burgers and shakes in, the, in a modern Indian movie today... Do you not recall how much of the 1950s MGM and Elvis movies are in the 50s and 60s Indian films? Yeah. The music, the style, the wardrobe. That's very strange. Here we go. I work with the most incredible crew. I am really lucky with the crew I have. They have read all the comics. I gave them, um, I don't know how many, how many, how many films to watch. Teenage films, films from the 60s, musicals from the 60s, musicians from the 60s. Hmm. Then they did different acting workshops. They did dance workshops. The they crew? Did workshop. they had to do I'm guessing she's talking about the uh, They came to set now. trained. Yeah, yeah, they're okay. pros. You know, when you grow up in a house and you have parents you get on with or parents that you admire, uh, you just end up doing things they do. And it's as simple as that. And who is anyone to say you can't do this or you can't do that? So uh, first, I think we need to establish that we both live in Bandra. Yes. But this interview is happening all the way in Brazil. Yes. <laughs> at the dome. Uh, you know, it was so lovely to see these debutant actors on the stage and, and with the best of the best from around the world. In Brazil. What was it like for you? You've been it's working Netflix's with them, thing. mentoring it's them for what, a few years oh, now. Oh, got yeah, it. I know it's That's what they call their big... Um, I mean, got it. Yeah, it's been a year and a half since they started the boot camp and then the shoot and everything. Maybe a little more. Uh, yeah, it was insane and it was great that the first... Uh, their first coming out, literally, was uh, happened at a scale like this. I think they're ready for anything, you know. I, I, I mean, I, I was shocked at their confidence. And uh, nobody I mean, was nervous. They, all, they must have been nervous, but they didn't let it show. 
you know i was i think a little more nervous than them they they, they were very good you know to get out there and like perform in front of 10000 people yeah. that 10000 physical yeah. you know yeah. uh, people and then online i don't know how many yeah. it was crazy yeah you know your stories so yeah whether it doesn't matter who they're about or where they're placed or whether it's going theatrical or streaming there are always stories about inclusivity you know about having compassion um, about more layered women right how challenging was it to thread a more progressive world view into an american comic book that was first published in what 1942 uh i mean the 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 trick was like when i got this and when i was asked if i want to adapt it uh i didn't want to do a modern take a it's been done i mean riverdale has done it and b uh that wasn't the archie of my, that's not my experience of archie my experience of archie is a a, a simpler time a yeah. more innocent time yeah. and uh, a gentler time you know and uh, where less was more uh, and i wanted to go back to that and i wanted to the keep the original essence of the comic and find a way uh, to have that innocence but find a way to for it to resonate with kids today uh, with young adults today because th- i was reading it when i was like 12 like that that tween age so you wanted to to resonate with kids today so thematically use what matters to them and weave that into a story um, set in that time that but is a, is not hard because you know the last time we talked you also talked about how it is about the environment mm-hmm. uh, you you're looking at some of those issues mm-hmm. in this narrative so then did you take the framework and say how can i talk about things that i'm concerned with no you just see the thing is this is this is the comic you know and the comic is episodic like yeah. the comic is like short stories gags they're episodes but there, there is an overriding essence of that comic you take that comic you take the characters of that comic and you set it into a structured story narrative so if it's a three page in a thing we've done a hundred page you know what i'm saying you just create your own story in it and it's i mean it seems daunting but you had when you sit down to write it and these are your characters and these are the things you're playing with obviously you adapt it obviously you change certain things you uh, pronounce certain things more you uh, kind of put into the back burner certain qualities you have to play with that because it is a screen adaptation but it's not so i mean we'll know once the film comes up <laughs> how it panned out so i shouldn't be saying anything right now you know you always said that you're obsessed with the idea of friendship in movies why i don't know i think I think uh, uh I think both my brother and me both have that we have very very deep friendships uh when we were, we have friends like family and I don't know if that came from like the fact that when we were kids we you know maybe things we both had a broken home I think we came from there and uh uh somehow your friends just became very strong in a sense I don't know this I I think and uh, um it, it's very important to me like I have very deep <coughs> friendships and I have very old friendships uh and they mean a lot to me and uh, um I think it just comes out you know like I'm constantly coming of age in every movie I don't know what that means I have Peter Pan syndrome when will Zoya actually come of age I saw happening <laughs> I'm not seeing it it's like a recurring theme I mean I've now started seeing it and do you do you find yourself consciously uh not repeating things because you know friendship you will say okay there are five beats yeah in in the sort of friendship saga yeah. and how do you kind of innovate within that yeah do you find yourself consciously saying okay i can't go there because i've done this no 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 it organically I, flows yeah it flows i don't i, I don't uh, like i consciously don't want to make the same film like i i find uh, uh, till now like i haven't felt that like i want to do the same thing uh, but i am doing the same thing i am coming of age so th- th- i'm consciously doing that do you know so i can't say that i'm so different because thematically i am touching the same things uh, which i think most filmmakers tend to do you know they yeah. have certain themes that they keep going back to but uh, um, no i don't think so much like i just go with that tone of that story and what organically would happen to these people and uh, and it, it, if you're true to that milieu and you're true to that tone and you're true to that character it will differentiate from another you know you know this tone is such a difficult thing to to actually describe or or uh, articulate mm. uh, and when you look at the archie's trailer there is such a tone mm. as a director how do you 
how do you decide what that will be and then how it was kind of given already in the comics so, you know uh, you See, like one, one thing is when you're writing it, because uh, uh, we write our own material. I mean, this was written with Rima and Aisha. We write our own material. Uh, you already know uh, what it sounds like. You already know, and that's where, you're, for me, the tone begins. The tone, in the sound of it. Yeah, in the sound of it. My tone begins like, what is their, what is their mood? What is the level of drama? What is their pitching? How serious is this? Is this go? Is it make or break, or is it teenage life? You know, is it? Uh, you know, you just roll with the punches. W what is your tone? That comes from there. It comes organically from the writing, and then from that. I mean, I work with the most incredible crew. I am really lucky with the crew I have. Uh, the minute they read the script, we we discuss it, and you kind of explain to them and uh, or give them an image you know even if it's a photograph sometimes they just know what you're looking for and they take it to a level i can't uh, I, because i'm not an expert in but they get what you want they get what i want and they get me and we <coughs> develop a working equation now over a period of time and uh, they are obviously experts in their field and they can they do things that i cannot imagine so I know what I want, but I would never be able to take it there. Mm. You know, so I, I have a crew of incredible artists that I work with and they develop that tone with me. A lot of filmmakers you know, stick and with we the same DPs, camera yeah, people. Absolutely. Sometimes what happens is, <coughs> if they're available. Sometimes it becomes like, is it too niche? Sometimes it becomes like, is it too particular? Not catering to everybody. And that's what you have to live with. But the people that it does cater to, respect it for that. Right. You know, so yeah. the people that understand it or like it or it resonate with it they respect it that it sticks to that tone but with something like this Zoya where obviously there is no box office pressure right, right. so you're not thinking about like Friday opening yeah. Somalia, right yeah so with the Archies could you actually uh, go as niche as you want in terms of a specific look or a texture no see I feel uh, uh, everything is a double-edged sword you know, so sometimes when you don't have box office, then you rely only on uh, review. Yeah. And you're relying only on people's mind. Sometimes the reviews could be terrible or people didn't relate to it, but the box office is huge. So you balance out. So it's a double edged sword. So mm -hmm. it's not like this is better than that. And the thing is, you, you, uh, I mean, I always do what I want. And then I panic when it's coming out. <laughs> so I can sit here and say that. But I, when I'm making the film, I, I'm like this with blinkers. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this is what it is. And this is how I see it. And this is how it should be. And of course, when you are working with, you know, and someone's funding you, you, you there are things that you do that cover it, you know, the way you cast it, the kind of music you use, uh, 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 the language you use, you make it universal in a way, you know, you make that tonality universal to a certain amount of people, but you, I stick to my thing. Then I'm like, oh, did I stick to my thing too much? Hmm. I don't know. You know, let's see. Yeah, we'll see when it comes up. <laughs> okay, tell me what this boot camp was like. What did these debutant actors go through? Everything. I mean, they started from scratch, you know, they had to read the comics, uh, obviously, they had to because it, it's not their generation. So they had to read the comics. Uh, I get, Did they know about the artists? Of course. They all knew. Yeah, some of them okay. knew more than the others, but they knew. Uh, they've read all the comics. I gave them, um, I don't know how many, how many, how many films to watch, just from the period. Like what? Uh, just uh, or teenage films. Uh, films from the 60s, musicals. Annette Fanicello. You know, just different tonality and different like... The Beach Party movies. Uh, like musicals from the 60s, mm. musicians from the 60s, uh, girls from the, you know, just different things. Greece. Uh, teenage films, uh, things like that. Then they did different acting workshops. They did dance workshops. They did singing workshops. They had to do skating, swimming, cycling. <laughs> they had to do uh, everything you can think of. Then we did an entire workshop with them with camera. Uh, to explain to them what hitting the mark is, because it's a very technical job. So catching the light, hitting your mark, what does it mean to give shoulder? What does it mean to be in a close-up? What does it mean to be in a wide? Wow, what so a lot, of the, the, a lot of them, this is, they've never worked on something before. Uh, yeah. what, uh, what is set protocol? This is giving shoulder. You know, yeah. so the AD would come how, to, how to hit your mark. They, what, they, came they went to, to school. They, they went to school. They came to set trained. Yeah, yeah, they're pros. <laughs> Are you tough? No. <laughs> no. I mean, I don't need to be like tough. Means what? Means like you know, are you a screamer on set? No, or? I don't scream. No, no, I don't scream on set. I, I don't like that energy, and I think the energy on a set 
comes from the top absolutely and uh, i don't like that energy i don't um, i find i don't want i don't want people around me to be stressed i mean we are making a movie and it's uh, i love what i do and everyone i work with likes what they do and i want that energy to be productive and i don't like people being stressed so no i don't enjoy it but till you you chase what you want and you will continue to repeat till you get it you won't cut yeah. slack because then you no i'll i'll push for what i want yeah 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 yeah, yeah but yeah. so yeah you you trained them in all of this but you more than anyone mm. else having grown up in the business know how rough it's going to be yeah when they make that debut and yeah. how much um, there is going to be negativity there is going to be talk yeah. about nepotism how have you trained them for that i mean you you've grown up see at the end of the day we all grow up and we all grow up wanting to follow our dreams and it's very um, you know when you grow up in a house <coughs> you have parents you bear on with or parents that you admire uh, you just end up doing things they do and it's as simple as that and who is anyone to say you can't do this or you can't do that no no absolutely you know? so that's but it but i'm saying how they, is they, there training for them to how do you deal with that when they finally you know as they did yesterday step out into the public you know you don't you have to like roll with the punches you have to get out there suck it up. it's yeah there's no, you have to you have to keep your head down and work hard yeah that's it at the end of the day if you do your job well you'll be unstoppable do your job that's it everything else like just i just bubble myself I just focus on what I have to do and if I do it well or if I do it honestly it will find its audience and that's it you can't control anything but yourself mm -hmm. what else can you control that's so good advice you can't control anything you can't control what people say you can't control what people think you can't control if they like you you can't control if they don't like you you can just control what you put out and so that's what you should do just focus be a jedi that's it what else can you do yeah keep your head down and work keep hard keep your head down and work perfect. hard that's it just do your job everything <coughs> if you do it well it will align yeah tiger baby now has tiger telly which makes ads mm -hmm. you just launched a music mm -hmm. label you know what's your vision for how your style of storytelling is going to shape the pop culture narrative in india you know i don't know what do you want i don't know and uh, reema doesn't know and we'll know maybe if we manage to do what we want we just want to be a space that um, enables uh, uh stories and when i say stories i don't just mean films um uh that we feel something about that's it we just want to be a space where we what we value how we see the world find the space and like minded people can come in there and whether it's make a documentary whether it's make a podcast whether it's a uh, uh, cut a song whether it's a uh, uh, be a designer and make some for whatever the hell we want to be that space where you can come and just find something to do and tell your tale you know if that tale resonates with us obviously uh, uh, that's just it we don't know where it'll head we don't know if we're going to go there my friend ankur tiwari keeps laughing at me says next will be petrochemicals because he's like you got a petrochemical so tiger like, petrochemical yeah he's like he just keeps laughing at me he's like what is next because we just want to we want to do every we just look at us we just want to do everything but that's so great yeah but in our own little small way and uh, do the things we want to do and do the things we like that's it and we don't know where it'll head but uh, it's what we like what we want to put out into the world how how if if i am a young storyteller somewhere and i completely resonate with what tiger mm -hmm. is putting out how do i get an entry is there there's an email there's a website yeah 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 we have a website also firstly if what you if want to interview you material please register it because we don't want any problems and uh, just either contact the office contact the website and we our head of content is called we we'll work with you contact him and please send your material in fab yeah Sounds amazing. Yes. Cannot wait to see the Archie Zoya. Thank, 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 thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. Always good interviews. Yes, she's uh she she, she radiates uh genuinity. Mm -hmm. What's the word? Genuineness. Genuineness. Yes. Is that the word? Genuineness. Gen genuinity. Yeah, yeah, you made that up. <laughs> that is a corbinized. No, Zoya's very has a lot of genuinity. Yeah. Uh, a lot of genuinity. A lot of genuinity, and it 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 shows. Um, 
in her in her work and how she just I, I love that she I don't think she makes a lot of films in terms of like it I think she does it every few years. Yeah, I, I think she gives herself wholeheartedly to whatever she's working on and she doesn't let herself become distracted with multiple projects simultaneously that can deter her from her her focus. I mean, it's one thing to produce something and say, I'm going to contribute the money that's needed over there. But as far as her directing is concerned, I think she's very particular. I don't know if this is correct, but she has a director for an untitled Amir Khan Zoya Akhtar project. Yeah, it's in script. And then she's got two other things in pre-production. That'd be good. Zoya and Amir. Mm -hmm. That'd be really good. Uh, yeah, she produced it. And she just produced that series. Uh, she wrote it. Mm. Dahad. Mm-hmm. And we heard a lot about. Um, but I'm excited for the Archies. I, I I love Zoya. I think she's a really good, unique director. Yeah, she is. Uh, she also usually has that. I guess it is true. She does all of, oftentimes have a um, coming-of-age feel mm -hmm. to a lot of her films. Um, and But it's usually, I, I, I'm more associated with just like, like it might be heavy at, at times, but you usually leave with a smile on your face with a Zoya film. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. That's what I feel. She's a very talented director. I would love to talk to Zoya. Uh consider she was the first her film was the the start of the channel. The start of the channel. The yeah. trailer reaction. Then it was the first film we saw in theaters, indie yep. film we saw in theaters. Yep. And obviously loved it. Yep. Rick has a I have up in the time I got on my arm, which I think she has seen. We've Pretty had, sure she's seen it. We've had multiple people send that that know her to yeah, her. They know her personally and said, "I'm going to send this to Zoya." They texted so, her. They texted her like it to Renvir, yeah. to Zoya, yeah, and others. We haven't heard anything from any of those people. No, <laughs> in terms of that's right. In terms of, of, of feedback, hearing back, other than Renvir saying he's watching us like a hawk, replying to tweets. But anyways. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it. Uh, please let us know uh, what other interviews uh, we can watch of hers or others down below. Just